Bunch. Hey, William. Oh my God, Eurovision 2017 was filled with thrills and spills when it comes to fashion. And as ever, the Barbara Dex Award honors those who had the worst looks. Mm, it yeah. does. But I kind of feel like we're not real experts in this field. Yes. So we have gone to Atlanta to fly over a very special guest to help us judge. Yes, she is a woman, so she can relate to many of the outfits on show. And whether I like it or not, she is flesh and blood. It's my sister, Suzanne. Yes, queen. Oh my God, you stole my face. You stole my face, I came first. Okay, you did come first, about a decade. In any case, should we talk about the Barbara Dex decade. Award? Are you ready? Let's do this! So, now, you haven't had the benefit of watching because the YouTube performances in America are geo-blocked, so we will play them for you while we discuss it so you can kind of catch up. All right. And you just want my feedback on the clothing. The fashion. This is all about the clothing. Don't or the non fashion. About, not the song, just the non fashion or fashion. All right. So, Devin, first up was our friend Albania, the fifth worst look, Lindida Halimi. Oh, a lot At a loss for words. So Can I just say, point out, these were not our rankings. No. These are the official Barbara Dex Awards on songfestival.be. We did not vote for Lindita. Thoughts? The outfit. It kind of looks like a bad Halloween costume. For like, um... An adult Alice in Wonderland or something. I the the silver, the roses, yeah, not so much. And to think she lives in Atlanta. You know, I quite like this look. I think she looks like a figure skater who got married in the year 2074. It's very futuristic space <clears throat> chic. It's interesting because her song is kind of intergalactic, and I think elements of that are kind of featuring the silver shimmer on the front of her outfit. But you've got to like the sheer bottom though, don't you, Suzanne? No, I don't. <laughs> All right. Well, look, I think that this is one thing about the Barber Dex Award that annoys me, and I love the Barber Dex Award, but it's just people vote for the worst outfit you wouldn't wear on the street. These are stage costumes. There's a difference with what you wear on stage and what you wear to Ikea. Well, like, I think besides that, Joni Pecci, who's the designer of this outfit, is one of the leading fashion voices in Albania. A singer in bloom. You don't like the white flowers. No. Do you notice how the cake transitions into um, a train? She's clearly not feeling it. So we move on to Switzerland. This is Time Bell, the lead Bell. singer Maruna. Now look, a lot of people compared her to Big Bird after getting caught in a blender. And I kind of see it. I don't like the look. It's very Bucharest prom 1989. It's bright. It's sunshiny. I think they made too much effort to make her hair like a sunburst. Um, I'm not sure. Some people look good in yellow, some people don't. Does she? she? Probably not. <laughs> Look, I'm with my sister on this one. This outfit is appalling. Maruna's a beautiful woman, but this does her no justice. It's like, why do you take someone stunning and then put them in a yellow trash bag? I struggle. I think, I think this is a year of slim pickings. I don't think these, these looks are actually that bad, but you've got to come up with a top five. Would you wear this if you were a woman? Yellow is actually my favorite color. But this yellow incarnation. <laughs> so I'm no Eurovision expert, but a lot of the costumes I saw from last year were just fantastical. Yes. And these to me just seem very basic. You think that's basic? Yeah. The dress covers a third of the stage. It covers two thirds of her body. However you spin it, it looks yeah, bad. The dress is just too <laughs> basic for me. And from this that angle, split. the deep thigh split, you can see her next child. Look, right there. Is it a girl or a boy? She should be churning butter. All right. Oh. <laughs> we move on to the third worst dress contestant. It is Martina Barta from the Czech Republic. <laughs> By your side, baby, 
and I'm gonna kick this off. I disagree with this totally. She wore gold lame. The only difference between lame and lame is a single accent, but she fell on the right side. It's really stunning. Very futuristic pest controller. You can see her on Jupiter killing termites. Honestly, showing the flash of breasts, the decolletage with the sports bra, I love it. It almost looks like a bad military outfit. Do you like Kentucky Fried Chicken? I don't eat Kentucky Fried Chicken. But if you did, would you have the rotisserie chicken? Are you saying she looks like a rotisserie chicken? There's a lot of gold tinfoil. What's the name of that chicken shop in Atlanta? Popeyes? Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A. Oh, yeah. They don't do rotisserie. Okay, so thoughts. Would you wear this? No. I would absolutely, positively not wear that. With all due respect. Not even on Halloween. With all due respect, <laughs> you've compared it to um, a military costume. I don't see how you can draw that from this look. It puzzles me. The song is about taking turns and, you know, it's very jazzy and I would have expected like a more somber number and she's now just wearing this and it's, um... A melted saxophone. Jazz, honey. Oh, it's like a futuristic though military outfit. Really? Look at her stance. It's a little bit manly. <laughs> <laughs> Workout. Sports bra yeah. on show. Yes. She's got a beautiful body. But she's hidden in her foil. Look, I'm just glad she didn't have to wear this on a hot summer day because her ovaries might fry. We move on to the runner-up for worst outfit of the year. It is Latvia's Triana Park. Well, we Agnes, she took us to the skate park and back, and the whole time she was going like this. This is edgy, this is street, this is really ugly. Look, I'm sorry, she looks like a Harajuku girl. William, I've got to ask you. Who got stuck in a washing machine. Where do you draw the line? I draw the line a few, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Metallic boots, two ponytails, a whole lot of ombre hair craze going on. What are those? She's like a skeleton on top, like it's a skeleton type dress. This is definitely a Halloween costume. Does she not bring hues of Hanoi into this? No. No. <laughs> no. Cause I see Tokyo. What's up with the yellow in her hair? I'm assuming that's not her natural hair color. Well, no, but why yellow? What are these breast elements peering out? It look, it just looks re like a really busy top. She's protecting her femininity from the many men who would like to conquer it. Ew. Deppin, do you like the outfit? In the context of Triana Park's stage performance, I feel that it kind of goes. However, on the high street, I may question sanity. So she looks like she's on an acid trip, basically. <sighs> Whoever dressed her was on an acid trip. Would you wear this? No. And now, drum roll, please. It is time for the worst look of the year, as voted by the Barbara Dex voters. Interestingly, this also won the poll on Wee Blogs. Did it? We ran our own poll. Oh my so god. It's kind of unanimous, and uh, people have typically agreed. It is Slavko Kalezic Montenegro. Now look, this is an outfit in two halves. He starts off wearing his purple skirt. He soon rips it off to reveal turquoise colored leggings. He's wearing a black sheer see-through top. Masculine meets feminine. Venus meets Mars. Devin, you have the first word. Thoughts? I think this is art. Personally, this 
it, I, I can't believe it won the worst look. This is not, I mean, which part of it is the worst look? Because there are several looks in one. Is it, are we talking about the hair braid? Are we talking about the sheer top? Are we talking about the blue base? Uh, uh, oh, more metallic. I think you're talking about all of it. All of the elements you've named, people don't think they work well together. Now, personally, I think this works for this music. You have to give it in the context, and with this song, I think this outfit works for this song. Would he wear this down the street? No. Would I wear it down the street? No. And people are judging it based on streetwear, aren't they? Because I think as a costume, it actually does work for the song. I'm sorry, but... You, you would, wouldn't wear that top down the street because no. the body, you need a body to, to, to kind of marry it up. Oh, oh, what are you saying? No, no, no. Are you what? saying that William lacks no, no, the body no, 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 no. to wear that I mean, top? Like, no. Oh, my no, no, no. Even if I had the body, I wouldn't be putting on display like that on the street. On stage is different. <sighs> Suzanne, you're dangerous. What I'm saying is... <laughs> One needs the body for that kind of top. So you're saying the voters feel bad about themselves and they don't have the body, so they voted against him. I just don't think this is the worst look. I, I really I'm, don't. I'm with Devin on this one. I, I rather like the look, except for the skirt. Take the skirt off and I I like right. the skirt. I don't like the belt. I don't like that belt. Are but... they necklaces? They're, yeah, that, I don't like they're that. They're essentially crotch necklaces. Yeah, 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 my girl takes it up! <laughs> Every penis needs a good gold necklace and cock ring, apparently. Now, Suzanne, what do you make of the three-foot hair extension? I didn't realize that was not his hair. Um... <laughs> yes, the thing he's whipping. Um, I, I whip my um, hair back and forth, I whip my hair back, back and forth, I whip my hair back and forth. <laughs> I... Do you think he's hot? Well, he does have a receding hairline. I think he just pulled his hair back. Um, no, I do not think he's hot. But you can see that he's an artist. I mean, he has a very handsome face, but I wouldn't want to take him home. What about if he lies down on his own mouth on the LED floor? Which is coming, coming up now. Up in three, two, two one, bend, bend over. Up. Yes. Oh, he already did it. Oh, I saw that. There he goes. You're not feeling it. No. Not the worst dressed, in my opinion, though. So of that lot, who was the worst dressed? Well, our friend from Atlanta is probably going to get best dressed out of these. Worst dressed is probably Latvia. Latvia, Agnes, Triana Park. Look, no arguments here. That was a hot mess. It did nothing for her. I, I have to agree. I think Latvia is the worst look. But only because I have to pick a look. And it is. It is yes, the Miss worst. Universe. No, but this has nothing to do with Miss Universe. Who, simple question. Worst look of the year. Latvia. Done. Yeah, but... <laughs> There's no way to make it nice. There's no way to make it nice. It's just the bad so look. So, all the acts you believe, Latvia is really the worst. Yeah, it, it just doesn't work. Okay. I, I, I don't like it, obviously. Yeah. But... In any case, that is what we think. What do you think? Which was the most deserving act for the Barbara Dex Award this year? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. Be sure to like, subscribe, and Suzanne, yes. what, where do you draw the line? What's your Instagram account? <laughs> Suz Adams One. That's S-U-Z Adams One. She is a semi-professional bodybuilder. No, no, no. Total amateur wannabe, but having a lot of fun with it. She's frequently in a G-string, so our few heterosexual he readers, oh, uh, you've seen the photos. Are you selling her? Hey, if there's commission to be had, well, yeah. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna tell more. Mama. Oh please, she doesn't speak English anyway. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye.